And some say, well, you know, you don't understand my kid and my grandkid. You know, they're they're tough. They are a tough case. You know, they, are, you know, uh, yeah, appreciate what you're saying, Mike, but you have no idea what you're dealing with here. They're, they've been in jail. They're doing this. They're doing that. They've, they've hardened their hearts. Can I tell you one story that actually happened? I saw it, it happened to me. My wife, Darla, and I, we were youth pastors, and we took a bunch of young people to the to this weekend event thing and God was moving and we had kids getting saved and it was like one of the, the pinnacles of our, our whole youth ministry happening and God was moving. So the last the last day we kind of gathered around in this field and said, well, let's just have one more time with the Lord. Let's worship a little bit. And then God just started moving. I mean, kids were just powerfully touched. Well, there was this one kid named Jeremiah. He was a heavy metal you know, kid, he was into rock music, you know, and his, his parents were the children's pastors who sent him to the, to the youth event to go, please, can you help my child? And I'm going, oh man, this kid's tough. So I, you know, God's moving, the, all these other kids are getting touched. And I went up to him and said, hey, Jeremiah, um, what do you think about this? And he goes, well, there's enough power here to knock the walls of Satan down. And then I said, well, what about your walls? Oh, I'm tougher than that. This kid is tough. I mean, he thinks he's got it all sorted out. And so God's moving. I just left him alone. And about 20 minutes later, God said to me, well, why don't you go ask him now? So I go, hey, Jeremiah, are you ready to get saved? And this is no exaggeration. This is what he did. Yes. And he grabbed my shirt soaked my shirt with tears and he's repenting and giving his life to Jesus. We brought him home and his parents are like so excited that their son who was lost is now found. So if you have someone that's super hard, God can do it. I've seen it with my own eyes. You need to trust me on this one. So if you would just let me, uh, let me pray for you. Can I do that? Because I know it's tough and I know you've been, you've been burdened and, and, you know, but I, I know there's hope. I know God can do it. So I'm just going to agree with you right now for your kids and your grandkids, especially those who are not walking with the Lord or if there's some other issue in their life that's going on and you need God to come through. Let me just agree with you in prayer right now. Father, I just thank you for, for my friends that are, that are gathered here. And maybe they're watching this later on or it's whatever's happening. But Lord, you know what's going on in the lives of their kids and grandkids. So Father, we pray right now, first of all, for divine protection. That you will protect them. You will keep them safe. Safe on the highways. Safe as they're going off to school. Safe in any situation they're in. Lord, you'll protect them. And we, we, we ask you to, because you love them more than, than we do, Lord. So I'm asking you to, to protect them. And Lord, I also agree in Jesus' name that you will come and you will bring an undeniable encounter for every child and every grandchild. Lord, you will encounter them with your love. You will bring a revelation of Jesus into their life. You will let them know that you're, you're with them and you're for them. And Father, I also pray right now in Jesus' name that they would receive the spirit of truth and not be deceived, Father. There'll be no deception. They will have open eyes. They'll be able to perceive the things that are true and perceive the things that are not true. Lord, I pray that you'll encounter and confront every lie that they've been believing about themselves and every lie they've been believing about you. And so I'm asking you to help. I'm asking you to help those watching that you'll give them creative ways. Lord, there's so many other ways they can pray than these three that I've talked about. You'll give them creative, creative ways to specifically pray for their, their child or grandchild, Lord, whether it's to go and in, 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 into the room and lay hands on, on the, the doors and saying, Holy Spirit, come into this room every night. Lord, whatever it is, you're going to give them specific instruction about how to pray. Lord, I'm praying for hope to come. I'm praying for faith to come, encouragement to come. Uh, Lord, I'm, Lord, I'm asking you to confront any discouragement around this area that we can have a new wind in our sails of believing you for our kids and grandkids. Lord, I'm just, uh, I just thank you for what you're doing. You're releasing things right now. You're releasing uh, intercession that's gonna, gonna really make a difference. And Lord, I bless, I bless my brother and sister and I'm asking you to be with them and continue to encourage them in Jesus' name.